But we're at this fork in the road where people have to choose. Are they going to go on being uh, controlled sheep and uh, robots of the control system, or are they going to wake up and take the road to freedom? That's the fork in the road, and that's the choice that people are facing now and will face ever more blatantly in the next few years. The power of human consciousness is demonstrable by the fact that despite all the things that are thrown at us, the cradle to grave programming, vast numbers and an exponential curve of numbers are now waking up from it. And it's this awakening that is gonna bring this control system down. This awakening will have reached the point where the tipping point comes and this control system comes down because the control system is absolutely founded completely uh, in terms of its existence on humanity being there and not there. They may seem confident and arrogant, and it may seem like that, and it will seem that for, like for, uh, that for a few years, but it's coming down, and it's coming down because humans are waking up. Went through an extraordinary series of what you might call paranormal experiences, not that they were, um, 20 years ago in 1990 and 89, and basically the the veil lifted and I saw the world in a completely different way and I started on a journey of research which has led me over 20 years to a very uh, obvious conclusion that this world is controlled by very very few people uh, behind the people we think are in power and they have a very very malevolent agenda for humanity as a whole who to them are nothing uh, more than when I started talking about this um, information 20 years ago, um, you could hardly get anyone to look at it. And in terms of public events, I couldn't fill a phone booth. Uh, but over the last 20 years, there's been demonstrably, blatantly, obviously, a fantastic awakening, and it's getting faster and faster all the time. Uh, I first of all noticed uh, a big change after 9-11, uh, although the vast majority of people uh, bought the official line, there was something about it that started to get others to think and come off the fence. And when the weapons of mass destruction were not found in Iraq, it was almost like a, a confirmation. You know, people talk about, well, you, you must never believe what the government says, you must never believe what the media says, but so many people just go ahead and do that. And the lack of weapons of mass destruction in Iraq were like, like somebody reminding you, see, look, governments lie. And after 2003 and all that, uh, this, this awakening, this, this questioning of the world, this questioning of authority uh, got more and more blatant. And as the police state and the Orwellian state is breaking the surface ever more obviously, it's, it's uh, getting more and more people to uh, see the world in a way that they, they wouldn't have done before. And it's getting faster and faster and it's a it's a great time to um, uh, to do, be doing what we're doing putting this information out and it's um, it, it's uh, very very encouraging the whole conspiracy is founded on keeping humanity in a very very low level of perception perception about self perception about the world uh, this is why we have the dumbing down of education, this is why we have the controlled um, so-called information that comes through the media. The idea is to keep people in ignorance of anything that would be a problem to the control system. So we're kept in ignorance about the nature of reality itself, the nature of life itself, who we are, where we are, what we're doing here. Um, we're kept in ignorance of the, the true forces that are uh, manipulating behind the people we see in the public arena like like we had eight years of Bush uh, who was uh, blatantly just a figurehead signing his name on the legislation and he's been replaced by Obama who is another blatant figurehead doing the same controlled by the same force ultimately that controlled Bush now all these connections have to be kept from people uh, so that we uh, behave and perceive the world and everything in the way that suits the control system. So any awakening 
any opening of the mind to see things that people didn't see before is a real big problem um, for the uh, the conspiracy, for the, the manipulators. And what we're seeing now, as more and more people are awakening, is is a, a almost a, a panic-stricken attempt to 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 put the lid on this, to to dumb people down, and this is one reason why we're seeing the uh, the ever greater drugging of American children, not just American children, but but in the wider world too. While we're seeing uh, more and more of these. Uh, chemical cocktails in food that destabilize the, the body's um, uh, chemical balance and more and more electromagnetic pollution to destabilize the, the body's uh, electrical electromagnetic balance. All of these things fundamentally affect the way people see the world and their ability to think sharply, to think straight and to see um, it, it, the peripheral vision which you need to see what's actually going on. They want us here. And what, what an awakening mind does is start to do this. And when you do that, you start to connect dots that you can't actually see here. What we're looking at now is an irresistible force, I would suggest, which is the, the gathering awakening of humanity coming face to face with what thinks it's the immovable object, the conspiracy, but isn't, as we'll see, although it's going to take some years before that becomes obvious. And, uh, and so uh, we're at this fork in the road where people have to choose. Are they going to go on being uh, controlled sheep and uh, robots of the control system or are they going to wake up and take the road to freedom? That's the fork in the road and that's the choice that people are facing now and will face ever more blatantly in the next few years. When you look at the, the bloodline families and the control system that they oversee, it seems that they are all-powerful. They control the media ownership level and at key positions within it. They control the corporations, the cartels of oil, of pharmaceuticals, etc. Uh, they control the, um, the forces of law enforcement and uh, the military, ultimately. But one thing they don't control is the numbers. This is what humanity has. It has vast numbers of people enormous numbers of people compared with those at the core of the control system that actually know exactly what they're doing and what the agenda is. They are tiny in number compared with what is now supposed to be 7 billion people on the planet. So one of the agendas to bring this under greater control for them is to massively cull the population. They want to reduce the numbers. Now, if you if you want to uh, re remove lots of people, you can do it by injecting uh, stuff into people's arms and they just keel over dead. But if you do that, um, and of course there is some of that that goes on, but if you do that, all the other people lined up are going to say, excuse me, I ain't having whatever they've had. So you do it in a more subtle way and you target the defense mechanism that everyone has called the immune system. People don't die of AIDS, they die of AIDS-related disease, which are diseases that the immune system, before it becomes shot, uh, would have defended the body from. So all the time now, we're having the immune system targeted, not least among children and young people, uh, by vaccinations, by food additives and drink additives, etc. And if we just think about this, I mean, it, it's so blatant. If we, people just take a, a, a deep breath and take a step back and look at it with a bit of peripheral vision. We have a situation now, not just in America, but in, in Britain and the wider world, where between birth and about two years of age, we're having children be given 25 and rising different vaccinations and combinations of them poured in all this uh, these chemical cocktails uh, that destabilize the body but more important than that they have to be dealt with by a still developing immune system 
So the immune system is still developing. It's still coming up to optimum uh, efficiency. And suddenly this tidal wave of chemical concoctions is thrown at it and has to deal with it. As it's deal, dealing with one, suddenly another one comes. 25 vaccinations over the first two years of life. It is by any level of common sense, it's ludicrous and it's meant to be ludicrous because it's target, targeting the immune systems of young children, which because it's done at a developing time in the immune system, rewires it destabilizes it, imbalances it for the rest of their lives. Those kids' immune system will never be as efficient as it would have been otherwise. My son, he's now 16, um, he's never had a vaccination. He's six foot five, incredibly healthy, never had a childhood disease. And his mates at school had childhood diseases. They had the whole blooming lot. And it has been planned for a very, very long time. You can pick up the confirmation of this in different points through um, history. To have a situation where you manipulate a mass global vaccination program uh, to target the population uh, at one time. We're seeing this now with the swine flu. I was told in 1997 by a CIA scientist who asked to meet me to get lots of information out that he couldn't, that in 1997, in the secret projects and the underground bases, they had microchips that were so small, they could be inserted uh, into people through a hypodermic needle in vaccination programs, and that was the plan. Is that, that our name, our job, our experience is just that, an experience, and we are consciousness. That change of point of perception, point of observation of this world transforms everything. You go from this to this, and you can see what the control system doesn't want us to see, and that's why the control system is absolutely structured to hold us in that, in that state. The power of human consciousness is demonstrable by the fact that despite all the things that are thrown at us, the cradle to grave programming, vast numbers and an exponential curve of numbers are now waking up from it. And it's this awakening that is going to bring this control system down. Not tomorrow, not next year, not the year after, not in 2012 like so many people kind of talk about. This awakening will have reached the point where the tipping point comes and this control system comes down because the control system is absolutely founded completely uh, in terms of its existence on humanity being there and not there. And uh, so um, they may seem confident and arrogant and it may seem like that and it will seem that for, like for, uh, that for a few years, but it's coming down and it's coming down because humans are waking up and this appears to be what's going on in the world but actually it's just a stage show that manipulates human perception so that we accept things happening which increase all the time the control of the system over the mass of humanity